In this lecture, we saw how to calculate the changes in kinetic energy and spring potential energy. Since you are familiar with kinetic energy already, let's concentrate on spring potential energy. Let's look at a diagram showing the equilibrium position of the mass on the spring, which we can call x0 or x0. Compare this to a stretch spring where the mass is at x. The potential energy for a spring can be written as 1 half k times x minus x0 squared. k is the spring constant. It tells us the strength of the spring. If k is large, then it takes a lot of energy to stretch the spring. You can also see that the potential energy depends on the square of the distance the mass is moved from the equilibrium position, which is the displacement. So compressing or stretching a spring both cost energy. To calculate the change in the spring potential energy, we need to calculate the change in displacement squared. If the final position is x final, then the final potential energy is proportional to x final minus x naught squared. If the initial position is x initial, then the initial potential energy is proportional to x initial minus x naught squared. We can make things a little simpler if we choose our co coordinates so that x naught is equal to zero. Then the change in the spring potential energy is 1 half k times x final squared minus x initial squared. Let's try this out on a practice problem. A 2 kilogram mass is lying on a slippery horizontal surface while connected to a spring. You pull the mass to stretch the spring so that the mass is at position x initial and let go. Draw an energy interaction diagram starting at the moment you let go of the mass and ending when it first passes through its equilibrium position x naught. If k equals 200 joules per meter squared and the maximum displacement is 0.1 meters, then what is the final speed? Our physical system is a mass and a spring. We begin with a stretch spring and end with the mass at the equilibrium position. Since the surface is slippery, we will ignore friction, and then we must have a closed system. There are two energy systems that are changing, the kinetic energy of the mass and the potential energy of the spring. The indicator for kinetic energy is speed squared, and the indicator for potential energy is the displacement squared. The mass starts at rest and is moving at the end, so we know that the speed went up, and so did the kinetic energy. The mass started away from the equilibrium position and ends at the equilibrium position, so the indicator for spring potential energy went down, and so did the potential energy. The conservation of energy in this case is that the change in kinetic energy of the mass plus the change in potential energy of the spring add up to zero. We know that the change in kinetic energy is just one-half m times v final squared minus v initial squared, and that the change in potential energy is proportional to the difference of x final minus x naught squared and x initial minus x naught squared. In this case, x final is equal to x naught, and v initial is zero, so we get a simpler equation. The final kinetic energy is equal to the initial potential energy. We can solve this equation for v final and find that it is equal to the square root of k over m times the absolute value of x initial minus x naught. We can now plug in the numbers to get the answer. But a very useful trick on exams is to keep track of all the units. Here we have meters times the square root of joules per meter squared kilogram. If we remember that one joule is equal to one kilogram meter squared per second squared, then we can put that back in our expression. Inside the square root, we get kilograms per second squared over kilograms. So the kilograms cancel, and we have a square root of one over seconds squared. So our final answer is one meter per second. If the units hadn't canceled to give us units of speed, then we would have known that we had made some algebra mistake and that we needed to go back and find the mistake. Tricks like that can get you a long way towards maximizing your final grade.